dreaming of a summer night With palm trees and sunny rays and sunflower fields Hi everyone, it's Mel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to be guiding you through a 15 minute body opening yoga flow. So go ahead and sit in a comfortable seat, get into your space, close your eyes and begin to take a few deep breaths. Taking a mudra with your hands, your thumb and your pointer finger touch, palms are up to the sky. And I invite you to set the intention for patience today. So give yourself patience, whether that be with your flow or anything that's going on in your life. Let it go and have patience with yourself. Begin to roll your shoulders up and down your spine, big circles. Bring them all the way up to touch your ears and then all the way down maybe giving yourself chills. Taking about 10 circles up and down. Keep it going and then switch directions now. So make the circle forward now, bringing it up and forward, making it super juicy, opening up the shoulder girdles, and I invite you to make neck circles or any kind of movement that you want while keeping your eyes closed. Remember to keep breathing. Okay, extend your left arm out beside you and we're going to take a few twists. So put your right hand on your ribs and then open up the elbow behind you as you look up and exhale, squeeze it in the middle. Take it a couple more times. Nice, and switch sides. So right arm out beside you, left hand on your ribs and go ahead and open up as you inhale. Exhale as you close it down. Beautiful, one last one. Good, come back to center and take the clasp behind your back with your hands and open up the shoulders and the chest while you look left and right. Make it really intentional, try to look as far to the side as you can. Keep it going for a count of 10. Remember to keep the elbows straight behind you if that's accessible and lift your chin to the sky and then release the arms as you roll your stomach forward into modified cat. Inhale, look up, exhale, look down. Modified cat and cow getting into the spine, pulling yourself forward and then rounding yourself down. Okay, take the clasp behind the back one more time and take a full forward fold. So the third eye comes to the ground. Nice. Big inhale. And big exhale as you release. Good, we're coming to hands and knees. Moving more swiftly now. So plant the hands. Knees are directly underneath your hips and begin to do the full variation of cat and cow. So you're looking up as you inhale and then you're looking down as you exhale. Pull your spine up so, so tall and push through your fingertips, through the mat underneath you. Nice. Taking it one more time to your own breath. And then from here, we're going back into those twists. So you're going to take your right hand to your spine or your ribs, and you're twisting up as you inhale, and then crunching underneath as you exhale. Inhale up, exhale down. 
elbow taps to the mat every time you come down and you're trying to keep your hips as square as you can. Moving into big circles with that same arm, keeping it lifted, open it up super tall, biggest circles that you can. Place the arm behind the back just for a breath and plant the hand back down. Changing sides, left elbow up and move into your twists, up and down. Moving into the huge arm circles, open and back, open and back, and then take the bind for a breath and come down to child's pose. Let this be intentional. Push your arms forward a lot and actively push your hips down to your ankles. So it's like a push and a pull on the mat. <sighs> okay, keeping your knees down, take the right hand outside of the hip, open it up just for a breath and switch sides. The left elbow is up and back, gaze is up. Exhale, plant the hands. Okay, come back to a seat and bring your soles of your feet together, knees out wide, Baddha Konasana. Just shake it up and down. Roll out your neck if you need to. Start to make a few circles, going front and back. Move into that Shakti energy, that sensual energy building heat into your body for the day. Okay, keeping your right knee bent, open up to plant the left heel on the ground and open up your knee. So it's like a big hip stretch, but manual. Nice, chain sides, plant the right foot on the ground, open up the hip, use the right hand to push the knee open. Good. Breathe into any tension that you may have and feel your body loosen up. Okay, go ahead and take an inhale to forward fold. Come back as you bring your chin up and then forward fold again. Again, inhale up, lift up, Exhale, fold. So we're just making big, big spinal movement as we move through forward folds and back bends. Try to push your chest through as much as you can as you come forward. Sit up so tall, push the knees down even more. This is full body stretch. All right, plant the hands behind you, take a few shakes. Sit up as tall as you can, kind of like staff pose. Lift and round yourself forward one more time. Okay, this time keeping the right knee bent in and then take the left knee to bend out so your foot is out. And we're taking 10 big circles around your hip. So you're going to be working into a different part of the left hip and even into the glutes and the groin. Okay, switch sides, bending the right foot to go outwards, left foot inside your legs, and take those 10 big circles around your hips and your joints. Breathe life into your lower body. Beautiful, you guys. All right, coming back to a cross-legged position, seated meditation, and then take a nice deep twist to the right. Good, switch sides, just a quick twist after all the forward folds and the back bends. And then coming to the long edge of your mat, and however you want to move into it, we're coming into half pigeon on the right. So find your position, breathe into your space. You can rock and roll 
to kind of find a good sweet spot and then hold there. Keep your heart lifted as you inhale to begin. And then when you're ready, drop onto your elbows if it's possible for a sleeping pigeon. Good, just rest. Okay, slowly peel your chest off the ground. Take as much time as you need. Swing the hip around or even move yourself into three-legged down dog to shake out your hip. Otherwise, meet me in the other side. So left half pigeon. Always begin to inhale the spine really tall. Breathe into your hip flexor on the right side, your hip on the left, and exhale to melt down into sleeping pigeon. Okay, carefully peel yourself out of this side. You can just roll or rock onto your left hip to swing your legs forward and then roll onto your back, bringing your knees to your chest, giving your low back a massage by making a few circles with your knees. Letting this practice sink in from just the last 12 minutes of flowing. All right, drop the knees over to the right side, taking a spinal twist. Gaze is to the left hand. No forcing it anymore, coming into a more natural breath and allowing gravity to guide you. Changing sides, pull the knees through the center, shimmy your hips to the left if you'd like, and drop your knees down. Gazes to the right side, and rest. Okay, bringing your knees back through center, giving yourself one last squeeze, pull your knees to your forehead, give yourself a huge hug, inhale, and then exhale, release into Shavasana, our last and our best, most important pose of this practice. I give you permission to turn the video off now to have an extra long Shavasana. Stay here for five, 10, 15 minutes, or an hour, however long you need. Coming back to the intention that we set in the beginning for patience, realize now that you can give yourself patience to stay as long as you need. Otherwise, I will guide you out if you want to end. So take a big, deep body stretch like you're waking up in the morning. And then pull your knees in, rolling onto your favorite side. Good. 
and then coming up to a seated meditation however you like and ending here with some love and light the teacher in me honors and sees the teacher in every one of you i love you all so much thanks so much for coming and flowing with me and hanging out sending you all so much love namaste i will see you in my next video thanks so much bye Thank you.